Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope that you are well, I hope everything's good where you are, and I hope that you are ready for another spooky conspiracy theory story time. So I was thinking, okay, what can I do for my next video? I uh, wanted to do more along the paranormal sort of side of things because, you know, you girl loves all that sort of stuff. And I'm obsessed at the minute with witches and witchcraft. So I thought, okay, let me research. Let's see what we can find down that sort of line. And lo and behold, I came across a story that surprisingly I'd never heard of before. That is the conspiracy, I guess it's a conspiracy theory. Sto we'll say story, for legal sakes, we'll say story. This is the story of the long lost ancestor of the Kardashians, who goes by the name of Kikul Kardashian. Now, I'm sure you know the Kardashians, right? I don't think there's anybody on this planet who doesn't know who the Kardashians are. They are the most famous reality TV stars the planet has ever seen. There is no question that they are gorgeous girls, um, incredibly wealthy, and they have definitely used their position and their looks the sex tapes to forge out very very successful careers for themselves but is that all it was now in 2012 a an article appeared on the internet that appeared to claim that the Kardashian Kardashians Kardashians could actually be witches or at the very least their ancestor was I will leave a link down below if you guys want to go and read this post for yourselves if you haven't already. But the general gist of it is, way way back in 1809 in Armenia, there was a young woman named Kikul Kardashian. And she would have been the, hang on let me get this right, great 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 grandmother of Courtney Kim Chloe and Rob Kardashian. Now the story goes that their four times great grandmother Kikul was, as you would expect of the Kardashian women, beautiful. Beautiful, dark, long hair, but she was incredibly poor. This chick literally did not have a pot to piss in. When she turned 19, she gave birth to a son. She was determined that neither her son nor anybody else, that any other family member that may come through her bloodline would live in the extreme poverty that she had suffered. Now legend has it that Kiko Kardashian went deep into the Chicago woods and found a cave hidden deep within this Armenian forest. And there she came across some witches. Now this article that I read states that she made a deal with the witches. She sold her soul and in return all of her future bloodline would be blessed with fame, fortune and physical beauty. Now the story goes that she had to go and dance naked in the woods and do all that kind of fun stuff but in return for her soul she was granted that wish. Now when she went back to the village, the witches told the villagers that Kikul had made a trade with them and so she was shunned from the rest of the community. And the story goes that she died broken hearted and alone. But the witches stayed true to their word and ever since then the Kardashian bloodline has gone on to become more beautiful and more wealthy with every single generation. Some of the things about this story that the um, conspiracy theorists among us love to point out is the fact that this woman's name was Kikul. Now, if you are a fan of the Kardashians, and I must admit, in my early 20s when they first came out, I spent a ridiculous amount of time watching Keeping Up With The Kardashians, you will know that Kim 
has the nickname within the family Kiki. Kiki, Kiko. And also, they are. There are many people that are quick to point out that the name of the woods where the witches lived were the Chicago Woods. Now, Kim has a. Well, she's got four children. One of which is called Chicago. 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 Mm -hmm. Coincidences? There is something um, called the Kardashian curse that even the girls themselves have spoken about in their show where any man that gets into a relationship with one of the girls um, ends up either suffering with fairly serious mental health issues, uh, substance abuse problems or their career just absolutely tanks when they when their relationship ends. Now, could it be that the curse was also part of the trade that Kiko made in order to bless her future bloodline with this incredible wealth and incredible beauty? You've got Scott, who was with Courtney, who has been in rehab many times, I believe. You've got Lamar, who had a very, very public breakdown after his marriage to Chloe. There is, um, who else is there? Chris Humphreys, married to Kim, what, where's he now? Reggie, don't hear about him anymore. Well, no, here you don't anyway. And then Kanye, I mean, if you are on Twitter and whatnot, you'll see that Kanye clearly has some kind of, of mental issue going on, um, which is quite sad to see from the, the Twitter, the sort of the tweets that he puts out. So the question is, are the Kardashians actually witches? If they are, I kind of want to join their coven because then they seem like they have it all. I, I, I could do with a few broken ex-boyfriends in, in return for the lifestyle that they lead. <laughs> okay, so that is all for today's video. If you liked this, as always, click on the subscribe button if you haven't already. Don't forget to like and subscribe, share it with your friends. And until the next video, take care.